carbon-fibered steel is very high carbon steel made in clay crucibles in India 2000 years ago. One of the ways to create it is to carburize bloom iron with dried wood. In our previous videos we have documented our attempts at recreating woods like steel. We have made over 9 ingots so far and in this video we show the successful forging of one of the ingots. We start by drying out the new clay graphite crucibles. Instead of bloom iron won by reducing iron ore in a bloomery furnace, we use wrought iron from old wagon tires. In both cases the iron has negligible carbon content. The iron is being forged out into small strips and then cleaned to remove scale in order to reduce gas production in the crucible. Instead of dried wood as a carbon source, we are using pulverized charcoal. For a 2000 gram charge of wrought iron, we use approximately 35 grams of charcoal. We are aiming for carbon content between 1 to 2%. Wood steel was renowned for the watered steel sword blades that could be forged from it. The appearance of watered steel is due to carbides segregating along impurities caused by alloying elements such as vanadium. Our source of vanadium, as well as chromium, is from small pieces of O1 tool steel that we add to the crucible. We also add small amounts of calcium carbonate to help with the slag chemistry. The calcium carbonate might help with removing some of the sulfur from the resulting steel. We cover the crucible with glass, which acts as a flux and keeps the steel clean. Afterwards, we seal the whole crucible with clay to help protect the charge from the furnace atmosphere. As a future improvement, we also plan to clay up the whole crucible, since it seems to be porous at high temperatures. Once the furnace has been prepared, we fire it up and wait till it reaches a temperature of about 3000 Fahrenheit. We keep it at that temperature for 30 minutes and then let the furnace slowly cool down to 2500 Fahrenheit before removing the crucible. We then wait till the crucible is cold enough for us to inspect the ingot. The crucible first needs to be freed of the clay until we can inspect the glass surface that covers the ingot. Just by looking at the glass we can tell how well we controlled the furnace temperatures. Ideally, we are looking for a completely smooth surface without any bubbles, as this indicates that all gaseous reactions have completed by the time the steel became solid. If the crucible is cooled down too fast, the resulting ingot may contain a shrinkage cavity and trap bubbles inside of it. We are hoping for a completely solid surface on the top. So far, everything looks very good. Before working the ingot, we thermally cycle it to about 2000 Fahrenheit and let it cool down very slowly. Now comes the time to work the ingot. Our goal is to forge it into a solid bar that can be used for sword blades or knives. We forge the ingot so that the top forms the back of the blade and the bottom the cutting edge. The temperature at which the ingot is being forged is very important. We want to forge above the temperature at which carbon dissolves into the iron matrix, but below the temperature at which all carbides are being dissolved. The working range very much depends on the carbon content. The lower the carbon content, the smaller the working range. Unfortunately, we have discovered some cracks that formed in the middle of the ingot. Our attempts to grind them out failed, and instead we resolved to cut the ingot in half. As we can see, there are small bubbles in the steel in the middle of the ingot that we need to remove. 
However, apart from that, the ingot is forging very nicely and much better than our previous attempts. During this forging cycle, only small cracks appeared that could be easily removed. After forging the ingot out into a bar, we are eagerly looking forward to how the steel looks. To find out, we need to polish it to a high grit and then lightly edge it before any pattern appears. Here is the result. While very difficult to see in the video, we have gotten closer to what one might consider wood steel. Now we plan on forging the bar into a couple of beautiful knives. While we need to get more experience, we seem to be on the right path. More next time.